Good evening, YouTubers. Welcome to World Cinema Reviews. This is your host, Frank the Vamp. And tonight, we're going to look at another 80s movie showdown. If you've never seen this segment before, it's where we take two awesome 80s movies, we compare them against each other using crazy categories such as best story, funniest moment, coolest skills, skin factor, scare factor, fan factor, with me being the tiebreaker. And uh, to find out if uh, you know, which of the two movies is the coolest. So it, it's all about having fun. And we're going to, I'm talking about fun movies. We're going to talk about two cult movies. Yes. Tonight we're going to tackle some powerful movies that, that they were so powerful that even today people still talk about them. So movie number one, The Toxic Avenger. Made in 1984, partially directed by the awesome Lloyd Kaufman, direct uh, starring Mitch Cohen and Mark Torgel versus Killer Clown from Outer Space. Made in 1988, directed by Stephen Kyoto, starring Grant Kramer and Susan Schneider. So, with no more explaining to do, let's dive in the first category, which is best story. So, let's talk about the Toxic Avenger. Poor Melvin is a man, is is a janitor, and everybody, you know, kind of steps on him and bullies him, and unfortunately he's being bullied by these homicidal thugs that are so freaking crazy, and um, you know, unfortunately the bullying goes too far, and he accidentally jumps out of uh, you know two-story window right into a barrel of toxic waste. Oops. You know, being horribly disfigured, you know, and, you know, almost killed in, you know, in horrifying pain fashion, you know, he, you know, instead of, um, instead of just dying, you know, he becomes a superhero. Hey, he actually, you know, takes revenge on the thugs and on the corrupt politician that is there and the, you know, and, and uh, on other gangsters or people committing horrible crimes around the city, and he becomes a toxic avenger. Well, <laughs> and uh, the next movie, okay, this is even more out there. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Okay, so aliens that are kind of resemble clowns happen to descend upon Earth. Why? Well, for a midnight snack. Turns out that they like the taste of humans. These are no ordinary clowns. They're not there to entertain your kids. And please, please don't let your children watch this movie. It's for adults, okay? But the movie is just awesome. You know, it has a. It's it's basically that's the story. You know, just killer clowns rampaging through a town and. We have our heroes trying to stop them, and nobody believes them. But it's just so incredibly out there and cool that it's just so enjoyable. So which one? It's the better story. You know, it's kind of a tough decision, and I went back and forth. Definitely, Killer Clowns is the more out there story. Let me tell you. I mean, not even with the highest high of them all. <laughs> I don't know how the hell uh, I, I compare this to the idea of um, of having uh, Mario Brothers, you know, battle the Mushroom Kingdom. That's like way out there. That's like heavy stuff, man. You can come up with that stuff. There's something wrong with you, or you were smoking something. Killer Clowns is incredibly original. However, you know, creating a superhero out of uh, you know with a very low budget you know in a very you know in from from the mind of Lloyd Kaufman it's just he's just so likable it's the fact that you know this dude by the way there's spoilers you know if you haven't heard you know it's on the title if you haven't seen those two movies watch them and come back to me you know you know the toxic avenger toxic this is awesome you know you you just gotta you you love them at the end of the film children love it everybody because he defends you know the uh, the unfortunate you know the weak and and you you learn to believe on this superhero and you know 
you know the 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 thing that made it through the story it's a it's a small part where you know melvin you know the janitor Audrey really transform into the monster goes to his mom's house his mom doesn't even recognize him and kicks him out of the house and, and she screams and you know that you know that was a genuine heartfelt moment like wow in a trauma movie but i actually felt it man first point goes to the toxic avenger funniest moment oh there's just so many fun moments the toxic avenger for me is the montage where he falls in love with sarah the blind girl i mean she <laughs> And and you know the the you know toxic gets down there, the toxic I mean, it gets down, and you know that to me was hilarious. However, you know the the killer clowns are just full of super. When the little when the when the short clown gets tries to be bullied by the dog there that destroys his tricycle, and then you know he, he you know he you know goes into boxing mode and then pops you know just severs the head out of the guy that's a super fun moment super funny moment just no contest killer clown for an outer space gets the point so we're one and one now so we go to coolest kill so the toxic avenger has so many cool kills man i just it was hard for me to decide i mean which one was it you know, was it the one where, you know, Cigar Face wants to kill him and his gang, and then he jumps out of the way and they all shoot each other? That was that was pretty cool. Um, he said the one where, but see, this wasn't a kill where Cigar Face is his nuts crushed. That was funny. Um, but definitely the coolest kill is, is the one when the fat guy gets it at the gym, when, when he just, just destroys the guy's face. I mean, that's... Oh, that's a pretty cool kill. And actually, practical effects, no CG here, folks. All 80s, all awesome. Um, but we got killer clowns. I mean, the the shadow puppets, the shadow puppet moment, the shadow puppet. Me I mean, it just works on so many levels. Because you think, oh, you know, this cute clown is just doing this show, this, this little shadow puppet show for everybody. You know, and, and they're all just staring at the marvels of what, Kind of what type of puppets the guy can do, then turns out to be a gigantic monster and swallows them all, shrinks them, and then f and then the clown feeds them to their offspring. That's a pretty cool kill. Killer clowns gets the point. So killer clowns is 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 getting up there two to one. Now we go to skin factor. Okay, uh, killer clown is is not designed for that for very minor we can say that there's something in there as skin is concerned um but the toxic avenger oh my goodness there's just so many girls so many hot girls it's just unbelievable there's just no context toxic avenger gets the point so we're tied we're back to tied or this is getting really really cool so two to two scare factor okay the, the you know this is the thing these two movies are pretty campy and fun it's not a lot of scariness there even though they're they're horror movies uh but they're more dark comedies right but they have two instances okay where they're really horrifying let's go with uh killer clowns first killer clowns has this um the scene where you know the sheriff the, the 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 officer you know that's you know that's you know doesn't take him seriously you know tries to incarcerate him and then when he can and you know she does something horrible to him he kills him and when the other officer comes back to the station he actually sticks his hand up the guy's back and 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 pretends to have him talk that's just like a puppeteer, a dead dude. That is a creepy moment, dude. That was a scary moment. Plus, if you're scared of clowns, that could really scare. Now, so we go the same thing with this, with the uh, Toxic Avenger. Um, the Toxic Avenger just has, you know, the uh, 
pretty much harmless, you know, weird, dumb fan until, you know, well, actually way in the beginning where the dogs decide to run over that kid for fun and take pictures, that was really scary. And I don't know, I mean, I, I kind of wish they took that part out, but for sure it's the scariest. That part doesn't even, to me, doesn't belong in the movie, but it kind of gives you a reason to hate the dogs even more. Um, but wow, what a way to do it. So that toxic Avenger gets the point. So here we go, guys. Three to two. So will toxic Avenger, you know, take it all, you know, and get the point, or will Killer Clowns come back and force a tiebreaker? Fun factor. Um, man, this was the hardest one to decide for me because, I mean, they're both really fun. I, I can watch these movies. They're, they're just. I mean, whenever they're on, whenever I see a little piece of them everywhere, you know, I'll be ch flipping channels and I see, oh man, there's a little piece of that, there's a little piece of this. Or even I remember, or somebody mentions it, you just have fun for both movies. But, I mean, in, in a way to have fun, I mean, I just don't see any other way to watch Killer Clowns from Outer Space without having fun. I mean, it's a fun movie, it's just all it was designed to be. I mean, and, and the, it's just, and I love the Toxic Avenger, I love the fact that, but like I said, that dark moment that he has, uh, they both had that little dark moment, but I think that, you know, that was the tiebreaker that even though he was, Toxic Avenger was just scary because of that moment, doesn't get the fan factor. So Killer Clowns ties it up, so here comes the tiebreaker. So we go to the winner which movie takes it all um i i really enjoy you know th these movies are great i mean they're they're some of the best b movies ever so i mean and they're a product of the 80s they both have great things i mean it's just so hard to decide it's like it's like do you want a big juicy burger or do you want a big slice of pizza um, they're both really good, right? But it just depends on what you're thinking about eating that night, right? So I will say that they're both equal. But, you know, um, we don't do ties in this one. So even though my sentiment, you know, to be honest, is to give them a tie, right? But I don't do ties here, man. I'm sorry. One movie has to win it all. And in, in because I, I like both movies, how they went, then I have to go to stay in power. Killer Clowns, um, as a franchise, there's been some things here and there. I heard that there's going to be a sequels or, or several sequels spawn out there. I mean, and it's a cold horror film. It's awesome. You you just haven't lived if you haven't seen it. <laughs> I mean, it's really, it's really weird, really dumb, but really fun. Now, the, the point of Toxic Avenger is spawn, what is it, four sequels? Yeah, no, three. Let me see. Yeah, it's... Uh, four and then there was a a movie like like a like a tv cartoon for kids who who doesn't know toxic avenger and basically the toxic avenger made trauma that's what you know great films such as you know the, you know um class of nook and high and other great trauma greats were made i mean so as trajectory goes the toxic avenger is the greater film and because he's so close, like it or not, that Toxic Avenger wins. Yay! So, did you like my picks? Did you disagree? Did you agree? Please let me know by your comments. I hope you enjoy it. Um, you know, if you like it, like me. If you want to subscribe, please do. I love subscribing. I want more of you. I really, really want to do these videos. I do it all for you. I really want you to enjoy it. And it goes from my mind to your mind. Be blessed. Be careful. And remember, no matter if you like Toxic Dimanger or if you like Killer Clown Fraction, you just can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong. Have a good night. Be blessed. See you next time.